triangle. The Hawaiians are developed different island kingdoms here amongst the chains. In the 1700s, warring chiefs initiated one of the bloodiest periods of Hawaiian history. Which one of the chiefs would unite the islands and the people? King Kamehameha brought wars to an end, uniting all of Hawaii under his control and creating a kingdom recognized and respected around the world. King Kamehameha's son ordered all of the temples to be destroyed and religious images burned. That was 2,000 years of law. It's just poof, gone overnight. This opened the door to missionaries because Hawaii had no religion. Their sons and grandsons went into the sugarcane business. Their economic power ensured that their influence in the kingdom increased. The Hawaiian kingdom's cabinet was filled with very corrupt businessmen. Queen Liliwo Kalani tried to restore power to the monarchy. They saw this as an act of revolution. President Robert Cleveland he called for the restoration of the Hawaiian government. Congress rejected that recommendation. It was active suppression of the speaking and teaching of the Hawaiian language. Forbidden to teach esoteric law. Forbidden to teach hula. As our old people died and the young forgot our language, we lost resources for passing on our history through oral tradition. Hawaiians were endangered of becoming extinct, a minority in their own country. Mm -hmm.